Welcome Magic the Gathering fans to the final of our first casual tribal tournament. We saw a nice bracket with a lot of tribal decks and in the end Cats and Aldrazi are left to battle it out. Now all decks have some restrictions, there's a budget maximum of $50, no more than 6 mythics are allowed, we have a maximum of 3 playsets of 1 card to keep all the games diverse and fun, and legendary cards are restricted and we also have a small restricted and ban list that you can check out in the description below also to keep the games and the decks diverse. Let's first look at the cats, of course, cats deck, small creatures, a good curve. I see a Savannah Lion, a Dread Malkin, and a Twilight Panther in the one drop. And then, of course, we have some cats that boost other cats, like King of Pride and Kahira, and some cats that make other cats, like the Leonin War Leader. The Eldrazis are more or less a combo deck with a lot of mana ramping cheap creatures some library manipulation and then the deck is built around the card descendant spot at the beginning of your upkeep reveal the top card of your library if it's a creature card that shares a creature type with a creature you control you may cast it for free reason belief also fits perfectly in the deck and the deceiver of form is also a big eldrazi that works with the top of your library and of course, we are looking for payoff cards in the name of Void Widower, Decimator of the Provinces, and Path Razor of Ulamark. Fight! So, as always, rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to start. Let's first look at the hand of the Aldrazi. See some land, some small creatures, and some library manipulation, and a big Eldrazi as well. Cats have also some lands, some cats, and already a church that makes cats stronger in the icon of ancestry. Both players will start off with a tempo. And then I expect the first creature to hit the battlefield from the cats and that is a Adorned Pouncer. It's a double striking cat that comes back from the graveyard. The Eldrazi will counter this with a nice blocker 0-5 that makes other Eldrazi better on defense. And back to the cats, 3 mana, will this be an icon already or are we going to see more creatures? Let's see, this is an Ajani sprite mage and a nice play because it's followed up with a cauldron familiar and that drains an opponent, one life is gained and also a counter on the pride mage. And now back to the Eldrazi player. We of course are hoping for a descendant's pot, first it's going to be a blister pot but the deck is built around the Descendants part, of course. Let's see, back to the cats. Oh, there's a Regal Caracal, and that's already a cat that makes a lot of other cats stronger, and it gives them lifelink, first an icon of ancestry, and a big attack already from the cats. Now, this is how the cat deck works. Play small cats, and then make them stronger with a lot of cat lords. And step an omen of the sea from the Eldrazi player. And there is the descendant spot. Actually, we're seeing two of them, but the Eldrazis decide to put one on the bottom. We're going to gamble with one descendant spot and to hope to hit some big Eldrazi as we have seen in our previous matches. But first, some more blockers, some more blister pots, and the descendant spot hits the battlefield. Now back to the cats and they now have a regal caracal coming up and that will put a lot of pressure on the Eldrazi player. There it is, regal caracal, all cats, plus one, plus one and lifelink and we get some cookie tokens as well. And now the big attack from the pouncer, from the pride mage. So uh, yeah, interesting. Bright Mage will get stronger because of the double strike. 
and all the lifelink yeah that is already a lot of pressure on the Eldrazi player Ooh. and you can already see the huge life swings Eldrazi are going to 13 and now the most important thing the descendant spot now the question is do we scry with the omen before our draw step we can do that and this is what's going to happen with no no big Eldrazi to put on top so now let's gamble it's nothing it's a reason belief that goes to the bottom and this will mean difficult times there is an Eldrazi now but it's a catacomb sifter and remember there needs to be an Eldrazi on the battlefield for the descendant spot to work so the Eldrazi really on defense hoping to hit a big creature now so they can stabilize but what is going to happen with the horde of cats this is of course a beautiful swamp of shippy that hits the battlefield and now we're going to activate the icon of ancestry and we find three cats a war leader in the original art also a vanguard but i think it's going to be the king of pride that's going to boost the team even more plus two plus one and we already count six cats on the battlefield so eldrazi in huge trouble there is the attack and now the eldrazi player needs to block and it's going to be already difficult to survive we see some Eldrazi hit the graveyard and that means that the catacomb sifter allows the Eldrazi player to scry hope to put something nice on top for the descendant spot but too much pressure I think from the cats even the big Eldrazi blocker is going to die from the pride mage a huge amount of life gained and all the Eldrazi are now removed from the game because the cats are just too powerful Eldrazi player on two now no descendant spot because no Eldrazi on the battlefield and this is the game the Eldrazi were completely overrun by the cats here is a cast down to finish it off and it's going to be 48 damage coming through Yes. We can say goodbye to the Eldrazi, a bit unlucky, but the cats have proven to be a strong, consistent deck and they win the first final. Now if you like these matches and you want to find out when our next tournament start, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification, then you'll get a mail when the new video is online. Meanwhile, do also check out our deck lists or just re-watch one of the great matches that were played, especially the Eldrazi ones when the Descendant Spot was running hot. Enjoy!